Hey guys, Ranger Jason Bentley coming at you from the Lagan Lodge here at the Lagan Outdoor Center, part of Genesee Intermediate School District. We're at the beginning of summer now and I've been missing seeing a lot of my friends and visitors coming to Lagan the last couple months. Unfortunately, we've not been able to, to get out and do a whole lot these last few months. Um, but we're gonna have you back real soon and I can't wait to get you back onto the property and share some science things with you in, in person. In the meantime, you may be looking for some things to keep your interest up in, in nature, keep you engaged in some fun activities. Maybe you're a part of a, a summer science camp or a program through your school right now and just looking for some fun extra activities. So what we're putting together are some quick short videos and called Summer Camp Lessons from Lagan. We're going to have several nature activities, several STEM activities, some links on those videos to, for purchasing if you have any materials, some follow-up links to other websites. If you're, if you're really interested in what you see, you can follow those other links up. Maybe if you got to buy some materials, we're going to give you the material list and show you exactly what it is that you have to do. So stay tuned, look forward to those videos coming out, and I'm looking forward to having you back at Lagan Outdoor Center real soon. Gonna share some scavenger hunt ideas with you for this summer. Scavenger hunt, you might be saying, hey Ranger Jason, what kind of scavenger hunt am I gonna find, you know, out and about? There's all, there's nature around us everywhere we look. We can go down a city sidewalk or into a country forest and find nature. It's all around us. It just depends on how closely you wanna look and how much you wanna discover. I'm gonna share some ideas with you, a couple of lists of scavenger hunts that we have available at Lagan for kids to do. The first one is a little bit of a younger, maybe a pre-K through a second grade level, and that's our nature bingo scavenger hunt. So if you follow the link, you can download our nature bingo scavenger hunt cards, and there's some pictures on there. All you have to do is take those around into your neighborhood, maybe down to the city park, and see if you can match up the pictures on our scavenger hunt. Can you find a feather? Can you find a rock? Is there a pretty leaf in your area? Is there an insect crawling around that you might be able to point out? So see if you can match up the pictures on the scavenger hunt bingo to what's in your area. Okay, so I just shared a simple scavenger hunt list with you for the younger kids. You older guys might say, hey, I'm a little bit too old grown up for uh, to do picture cards, Ranger Jason. And that's okay. I got a long list to share with you guys. It's, there's lots of things on this list, and you may be able to find a lot of them. There may be a few that you can't find, but if you have any access to a wooded area or a nature area, city park, grandma and grandpa's wood lot, maybe out even in your own backyard, you can find a lot of these things that are on the scavenger hunt list. There's plenty of lists out online. You can find lots of scavenger hunt lists that revolve around nature. So I'm sharing my ideas with you. Let's see what you can find too. Good luck guys.